Hey YouTube fam, what's up? It's Patrick. I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome to a hands-free mobility flow practice. This is one of my go-to little mobility movement sessions that I love to do pretty much anywhere in the world. I'm on the mat. You don't need to be on the mat. You could do any of this stuff really wherever you want to be. So take this outside, take it into your living room, whatever suits your fancy. And of course, before we begin, remember I always release two new classes every single week on communeyogastudio.com. You can practice with me on there or of course enjoy this library of sessions here on YouTube. With all that being said, let's get into our practice today. So the first thing we're going to do is work through a squat to forward fold movement mechanics, a wonderful way to wake up the front and the back line of the body. So what you're going to do is start in a fold. And I'll turn to the side so it's a bit easier for you to see. In your folding position, have your feet slightly separated. If you want, you can have the toes slightly turned out, but keep everything you know, relatively parallel with one another. And then from here, you can use your fingertips on the floor, sit your hips back towards your heels. If you need to rise onto the toes here, feel free. And then straighten your legs, push your hips back in space. And just kind of bouncing through this. When you get to the ground, look up. When you straighten the legs and fold, look back. So you're just creating a nice little bit of movement, a little bit of flow here, bringing some energy into your legs. And also just kind of creating a sense of ease through the hinging joints of the ankles, knees, and hips. So all three of those areas are spaces that we can get a lot of movement from and through. And when we start with this as a nice little movement pattern, it really allows us to open the body in these ways. So I hope you enjoy this movement. And again, can't stress this or say this enough here. Go at your own pace, of course. Use your breath to guide the flow if you will. But also remember, you can do this stuff anytime, anywhere, even parts of the sequence, and you will feel a benefit in your movement patterning. Whether, you know, it's a day at the office, walking around, running around, whatever it may be. We all live unique and interesting lives. Next time you find the fold, hang out there. Use these things to bring balance to that, to bring awareness to it, to help you move with more freedom and ease in your physical body. As you're in the fold here, you may see I'm swaying around a little bit. Feel free to add this into the mix. It may help you create more of a stretch through your hamstrings. Go ahead and come to center. Sit into your passive squat. We'll hang out here for a few moments. Try to get as long as you can through the skull. Notice here if you can pull your knees wider apart, and you can use your elbows to help with that, but also try to use your glutes to pull the knees wider. So you're feeling some space and some separation there. And that really allows your upper body to sit in between the legs a bit more comfortably. Wonderful, go ahead and straighten legs. Shake them out a little bit. Ooh. Then from here, have your right foot as your forward foot and your left foot as your back foot. Like a lunge position, go ahead and tuck the tailbone here as best you can, and then lower your left knee towards the floor, and then lift it back up. So lowering the left knee down and rising. We'll just do this a few times, waking up the legs here. Try to keep tucking the tailbone as best you can, pushing your hips forward, creating a freedom of movement. The next time your left knee comes to the ground, really try to tuck the tailbone, lift through the front body. And then from here, squeeze your left heel towards the butt. Catch the left foot with one or both hands, whatever is naturally available for you. Tuck the tailbone. Push your left hip forward. Anytime we're trying to work through the hip flexor, the thought process of the idea of tucking your tailbone will help you tremendously. So keep coming back to it. Take a few moments here in the stretch. And now what I want you to do is begin to kick your left foot into your hands. Kick, kick, kick. So feel it pushing your hands away. Driving there. Stay with your breath. Stay connected. Stay engaged. Trust the space you find yourself in. Keep kicking. Remind yourself to keep kicking. 
And now from here, squeeze your left heel towards your butt. So now your foot's running away from your hands. You're trying to remove pressure from the hands. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And if you cramp, pause for a moment and then squeeze a little bit less. Come back into the movement though. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Feel that action, that energy there. You're in the space for five, four, three, two, on one release keep the left foot there for a moment and then let it go now wiggle your right foot forward and your left foot back as much as you can muster in this moment so your right foot is well in front of your right knee you're in a very long lunge position try to get onto your left big toe tuck the tail and then try to sit your hips a little bit lower here try to sit your hips a little bit lower push through the left big toe Try to drive your left hip forward. Feel your ability to sink down and in just a little. Flirt with the balance here. Notice your range. Trust the space you find yourself in. And really, again, fight the good fight to continue to find your left leg. Find your left leg. release lower your left knee to the floor straighten your right leg fold over the right shin and again you can use the fingertips to support you here but try to not put too much weight into the hands because again we're making this as much of a hands-free experience as possible but sometimes a little hand support really helps us move through the stretch sensation that feels right to us and if you want to lengthen the position feel free to notice the space you have here in your body and hopefully it feels a little bit better wherever you're starting from this feels better that's always the goal go ahead and release pull your right foot underneath you a little bit and then any way you'd like to you can do it sitting on one foot or two rise up to stand. Let your left foot land. Go ahead and step your right foot back in space. We'll warm up through the left leg first. So lower your right knee down to the floor. Let it connect and then rise back up. Just lower and rise. Feel a nice bit of energy and flow here. Again, always trying to tuck the tailbone. And the next time your right knee lands on the earth, let it. Squeeze your right heel towards your butt. Catch the right foot. Catch it with one hand, catch it with both. And if for whatever reason you can't currently catch the foot, remember that's okay. And sorry for not speaking to this on the first side, but you can always push the foot down into the ground and create this similar sensation. And then when we squeeze the heel towards the butt, you can create that sensation as well. All are valid work through the space that is unique to you. Trust your breath. Trust the place you find yourself in. Wherever you are here, begin to kick your right foot into your hands. Kick the right foot into your hands. Drive and drive. Notice how you're getting taller here. Drive and drive. Try to stay consistent with the push. That's probably the hardest thing to do, at least for me. Stick with it. Trust yourself. Be in your breath. And now squeeze your right heel towards your butt. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Really feel it pulling in as much as possible. Pull in, pull in. Let your foot run away from your hands. Try to engage through your right glute, hamstring, whatever it takes for you here. Maybe close your eyes. Feel your body here. Notice the shifts. Notice the energy moving through your physical form, even though you're static. Exhale, release, keep your right foot where it is. 
let your right foot lower to the ground. As it gets there, tuck the right toes, lift your right knee off the ground, wiggle left foot forward, right foot back. Try to get into a long stance. Get into a long stance. Core engages, tailbone tucks. Try to sit down just a bit lower. Work to really push off your right big toe. Keep driving your right hip forward. Stay long and lifted through the skull, even as you try to take your hips closer and closer to the earth. Holding here. And again, this is where we're working on our posture. We're working on our mobility because we're creating these really big, long ranges of capacity, of connection, of availability. Be in your breath here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, on one. Your right knee lowers to the floor. You straighten your left leg. Half splits, full splits, anything in between. Allow yourself a few moments for ease because if you were really giving to those last few spaces, it was a lot. And that's part of it. So enjoy that journey. And... Beyond enjoying the journey, maybe you enjoy the benefits of the journey. You reap what you sow to a degree. Like you put yourself out there, you challenge yourself. And then after this, even when we stand up, you'll notice such easier movement through the body. And it's such a wonderful sensation. So honor that. As you finish, go ahead and pull your left foot back underneath you a bit. Any way you want to stand, feel free. So you can do this pushing off the right foot or just standing. Set your right foot down. Shake your legs out and then again, take a moment. Stand tall and notice how you feel. Hopefully a lot of clarity through the front hips. A bit more activation in the glutes, which is allowing you to stand a little bit taller. After doing just those few simple things, I feel, you know, like I just gra grabbed a few inches, add them to my physical form. All right, let's bring a bit of flow into the mix here. So go ahead and stand into your right foot. Hands to shoulders, left knee to chest and hang. Exhale, push hands forward, straighten left leg out. Bend right knee, swing your left leg back in space. Set left toes to the back of the mat. Left knee lowers, Anjane Asana. Inhale, reach your fingertips up to the sky. Try to not use your hands. Exhale, fold, straighten your right leg. Bend your right knee. Inhale, rise, high lunge. Exhale, hands to heart center. Left knee to chest. From here, set the top of the left foot onto the floor if you would like to. Lower your left knee down to the earth. Sit to your left heel. Rise up to stand. Left knee to chest. Hands to shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, push hands forward. Straighten your left leg. Bend your right knee, swing your left foot to the space behind you. Slowly lower the left toes to the back of the mat. Left knee finds the ground, Anjane Asana. Inhale, reach your hands up to the sky. Exhale, fold over a straightening right leg. Bend your right knee, high lunge. Inhale, you rise. Exhale, hands the heart center. Left knee to chest. Point left toes, set top of left foot down on the ground. Lower your left knee towards the floor. Rise back up to stand. Left knee into chest. Left foot lands next to right. Hands to shoulders, right knee to chest, inhale. Exhale, push forward, straightening through your right leg. Bend your left knee, swing your right foot to the space behind you. Set right toes to back of mat, Anjane Asana. Inhale, reach your hands up to the sky, get long through your fingertips. Exhale, fold over a straightening left leg. Bend your left knee, rise, high lunge, you elevate, exhale, hands to heart center, right knee to chest, point right toes, you'll set the right foot down, somewhere just behind the line of the left heel, but on the right side of the mat, and then lower the right knee to the earth. Kind of a hard thing to say, but once you feel it in practice, rise back over the stand, it's pretty easy to manage. Hands to shoulders, right knee to chest, inhale, exhale, push forward, straighten through your right leg.
Bend your left knee. Swing your right foot to the back of the mat. Set your right toes down. Right knee lowers the floor. Inhale, reach your hands up and away. Exhale, fold over a straightening left leg. Bend your left knee. Inhale, rise. High lunge. Exhale, hands to heart center. Right knee to chest. Set right foot down. Behind your left heel, lower your right knee to the floor. Rise back up to stand. Right knee to chest. And then your right foot plants. Shake the legs out. Feel that nice bit of space in the body. Now go ahead and stand into the right foot. Lift your left leg off the ground. Lean out as if you're going towards warrior three. And then from here, roll your left hip up towards half moon pose. Roll your left hip down. And roll your left hip up. Go at your own pace. Feel the swivel. Really try to work through your right leg creating stability. Please know you can bend your right knee here. That may feel a bit better. You may create more movement through the hip. More awareness in your body. Trust your breath here. Play with the wiggles. Rise to stand. Left knee to chest. Left foot plants. Nice job. Shake out the right leg. That can definitely be a lot. Stand strongly into your left foot. Inhale, get long and tall. Squeeze shoulders on the back body. And then lean yourself forward as your right foot lifts up. In some variation of warrior three here. And then from there, roll your right hip up on top of your left. And then roll your right hip down. Roll your right hip up. And roll your right hip down. Move and breathe here. The work is the same. And even if you're familiar or comfortable with the action, play with having your left leg straight and bent. So you're not just tied into one particular place, range of motion that feels easy for you. Instead, you're really tuned into your practice experience, finding new details every time through. When you finish, right knee to chest, right foot plants. Bounce around, shake out the legs for a moment, and then test out your passive squat again and see if it feels a little bit better, a little bit easier. Obviously, maybe your legs are, of course, a touch tired, but the depth may be easier to find, the space for the position hopefully easier to find. And again, that's our goal, everything coming together. Finding a freedom in our movement. All right, find your way back to stand. Adding a bit more flow into the equation. Stand into the right foot. Hands to shoulders, left knee to chest, inhale. Exhale, push hands forward. Straighten through left leg. Bend your right knee, swing your left leg back, crouching warrior. Left foot steps the back of mat, double bent leg lunge, inhale, you rise. Exhale, straighten through your left leg as best you can. Hands to heart center, pull the body forward. Crouching warrior. Exhale, straighten through your right leg. Bend your right knee. Left foot steps the back of mat. Thumbs base of skull. Inhale, reach your hands somewhere new. Exhale, hands to heart center. Left knee to chest. Just as we did on our other flow round. You can set the left foot on the ground to lower to the single leg squat or just lower the left knee to floor. And then rise. Back up. Hands to shoulders, left knee to chest. Exhale, straighten. Pull back. Crouching warrior, standing on your right leg. Left toes land at back of mat, double bent leg lunge. Exhale, straighten through your left leg. Hands to heart center, lean yourself forward. Crouching warrior. Exhale, straighten through your right leg. 
Bend right knee, left foot steps to starting position at back of mat, thumbs base of skull. Inhale, reach your hands somewhere new. Exhale, hands to heart center, left knee to chest. Single leg squat or your variation of. And rise. Left foot lengths. Shake out your right leg. That can be a lot, but developing strength, capacity, coordination, all the little pieces making the magic happen. Let's go to the other side. Stand into your left foot. Hands to shoulders, right knee to chest. Inhale. Exhale, push forward. Pull back, left knee bent, crouching warrior. Right foot to back of mat, double bent leg lunge, inhale, rise. Exhale, straighten through your left leg. Hands to heart center, lean yourself out, crouching warrior. Exhale, straighten through your left leg. Bend your left knee, let your right foot step to the back of the mat. Bring thumbs to the base of skull. Inhale, reach your hands. Somewhere new, get tall, get open. Exhale, hands to heart center. Pull your right knee to the chest. Your variation of the single leg squat, lower. Your right knee down to the floor, let it connect. And then rise back up. Hands to shoulders. Exhale, push forward as you straighten your right leg. Bend your left knee, swinging your right foot to the space behind you. Let your right toes find the floor, double bent leg lunge. Inhale, you rise. Exhale, straighten through your right leg. Hands to heart center, pull your body forward, returning to crouching warrior. Exhale, straighten your left leg. Bend your left knee, right foot journeys to the back of the mat, thumbs base of skull. Inhale, reach your hands somewhere new, get tall. Exhale, hands to heart center, right knee to chest. I know your left leg's tired, but work your variation of the single leg squat. Right knee lowering to the floor, and then rise back up. Land your right foot down. Shake out your legs. Feel a bit of movement and freedom there. And then find your fold. Find your fold. Let your body melt down and in here. Any place you want to fold is wonderful. Lean into it. Stretch through the back line of the body. From where I'm here, I'm facing the left side of the mat. I'm wiggling my feet a little bit wider. Feel free to do the same in whatever space you're practicing in. And again, don't even need to be on a mat, but just move towards something that's a bit more like a wide leg forward fold. And then go ahead and walk your hands forward to your front right foot, even though they don't really even need to be on the floor at all. Besides for this moment, twisted lizard lunge. Left knee lowers the floor. Right hand backstrokes to catch the outside of the left ankle, squeezing left heel to butt. And this moment will feel similar to what we did prior. So feel the stretch sensation here, but now we have the rotation through the spine. Breathe into that. Roll open through your right shoulder. Find something there. And now begin to kick your left foot into your right hand. Kick and kick and kick. Rolling right shoulder on the back body. Active in your left glute. Feel the kick. Try to stay consistent with the kick. I remind you because I need to remind myself. And then squeeze your left heel towards your butt. Squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Feel the squeeze. Remove pressure on the right hand. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. Stay engaged. Laugh at yourself along the way if it gets hard. Hold your moment. And release. Wonderful. Straighten your right leg. Again, your variation of splits, half full, anything in between. Just make it interesting for yourself. So instead of being aesthetically tied to any particular position, feel a stretch sensation there. Again, you can make this passive or feel free to follow me here. 
Push your right heel down into the ground. Push it down. Push your right heel down. Notice your connection there. Take a few breaths here, really marinate in it. Now try to lift your right foot up. It probably won't lift, but it feels like you're going to remove the pressure of your right heel on the ground. Notice the connection you have in your legs here to make this possible. Very engaging. And release. Maybe you lengthen a bit, notice a bit more space. And then go ahead and pivot back into your wide leg forward fold. Exploring every angle there. Noticing your new range, new bit of space. And then go ahead and walk your hands back to your left foot, dropping your right knee down to the floor, back stroking your left hand to catch the outside of your right ankle. Twisted lizard lunge. A few breaths here. A few breaths here, rolling over your left shoulder. Taking your time before you engage. Feel your spine rotating upwards. And now begin to kick. Kick your left, right foot, excuse me, into your left hand. Kick and kick and kick. Again, remember just to stick with it. If you ever lose your focus there, Return to it. Re-engage. Re-energize your being. You're there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now squeeze heel to butt. Squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Keep squeezing, keep activating. Fight the good fight. You let your right foot try to run away from your left hand. Pulling in, pulling in as much as possible. You've got it. 10, 9, 8, 7. Try to stay engaged. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wonderful. Release. Mosey your way out to a variation of splits. Mosey your way out to a variation of splits. Find your space here. Something interesting, something engaging, something with a sensation. And then you can keep this chill if you want, or follow me. Begin to push your left heel into the floor. Really push it down. Breathe through it. Last five, four, three, two, one. Now try to lift your left foot off the ground. Kick to lift. Lift again, or you're being chill. But try to lift. Last three, two, one. Release. When you're ready, return to wide leg forward fold, which at this moment in time could be quite wide. So if you want to explore that, feel free. You also can keep everything pretty chill. 
if that's what you'd like. This is our last pose of the day. Hope you've enjoyed the practice. Hope your body feels better, more connected, more in tune, more mobile. Just a bit more space. Feel free to hang out there for as long as you'd like. If you're looking for a closing resting position, Shavasana is always there for you, an easy seat's always there for you. Also just standing, closing your eyes, feeling the shifts in your physical position. Again, you may feel a lot taller, a lot of relief in the hips, but also just a natural engagement in your being, like your legs are a bit more supportive of you here because there's a nice connection between mind and body and hopefully spirit as well. As always, such a pleasure to share these sessions with you. This is a more experimental one for us, so let me know how this went for you. Like the video, of course, if you enjoyed this session, and leave a comment. Again, let me know how this one landed. I hope it felt good after these ones. No matter what, I feel like I'm navigating life with so much more ease. Look forward to sharing space with you again soon. Have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.